How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph with Customs? Um, we're back on the Road King doing the second part of the seat mounts. I didn't do an intro on that one, I don't know why. You know, I just happened to not fucking do it. And then I thought, hmm, you're better off with an intro. Anyway, if you like what you see, please follow along. Give us a like, give us a sub. Check out my friends in the description below. And have a great one. <laughs> I'm driving and it actually looks a lot fucking clearer than it is in real life. Fucking morning. So, we're done here mate, up the bump. Both of them, both the same length. And now what we need to do is turn down. I need to make sure I leave enough out. Well, because I'm notorious for not doing that. Oh, we need 15 mil sticking out. So, we'll go 25, which is a little less than halfway, so we're, we're well all right there. What I need to do is tighten up, tighten up, bugger up with my extension, my trusty fucking extension, and touch on. Now, from zero, and we're on 15 mil down to be eight millimeters OD. So, well, change the feeding speech, it helps, won't it? Come back out a bit. And we'll go a quick light pass. We'll that down to 15 mil. And that'll give us a clean up and it'll give us a length. There we go. 15 mil. Stringy shit. Let's have a measure. We're on 8 mil, don't we? So we've got 29.6. So. X is 29.6, enter, and we want 8. Fucking Jesus, Father Ted. So, speed it back up. Still got on slow. From doing the, doing the threading. So, we're going to take, uh, we'll get rid of the 0.5. Why is that reading 0.5? Oh yeah, that's what it says. So we'll get rid of that, we're going to go down to 28 for this pass. Which is there. What we also need to do is send me fucking feet down. Because I left that quick and forgot. So 28, we're gonna, now we'll go 26. And so on and so forth until we get our bugger down to 8 mil. And you can join me when we're there. Incidentally, I've increased my feet speed back up because we're getting a nice chip break with it. And we're going to be threading it anyway, aren't we? So, oh, it says, and now it's gnarling off. There we go, look, there it is. So we're almost there. Maybe another notch faster and we'd be bang on, but that's better for us. Finish is still well acceptable. 
I'm going down taking 40 thou cuts, one mil cuts, which takes two mil off the diameter. That's gnarly, man. It's not good. There we go. Anyway, I'll join you when we're back near eight. And here we go at eight mil. You may notice I'll face the end off as well, took that nipple off. On my travels, as we say. Eight mil. Just bring that out. A little bit more. There we go, I'm happy with that. So, break that edge, give this a bit of a chamfer. Slow things down. Get this tool out of the way. Bringing out a dioda, tail stock dioda. Uh, not the best thing to, not the most photogenic. Not the most photogenic. But it is what it is. So we lock it off and then we wind it in and we keep feeding it. And in the end, it should take it without turning or thereabouts. But once we get to the end, we're at the end. Yeah, we let it back itself up like that. We unloosen it, the tailstock and we let it push it off. And there we have an M8 thread. So we speed that back up, run it forward, give it a quick clean. Not the tops off, you know, smooth it out a little bit. Get gentle. And that should an M8 look lovely, but you thought I'd gone to get one then, didn't you? So did I, but there wasn't one where I thought there was, so fuck it. So now all that remains is to machine two flats on the milling machine. That way. To uh, put a spanner on it. So you'll see this again over at the milling machine with the bottom arms that I made earlier. So over at the milling machine um, we've got one of the stainless parts in this collet block, a square collet block so we can machine this face and then flip it 180 and machine the other face to put two flats for a spanner on it yeah the collet won't damage the thread um, and all's well so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a fag paper on the fucking job like we did when I was doing my uh, when I was doing my disc adapters if you followed that and then we're going to wind up until we touch until it grabs it which is going to come any second now give my fucking breath come on, there you go so We'll call that zero, and I think that that is 30 mil. I'm going to go three mil, so I'm going to back away from it, yeah. <clears throat> and we're going to take one mil three times. I think we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I've got a little jack under there supporting it. I've also guesstimated. The uh, different the, the distance from the ends that I want to make the flats. It's not a crucial component, but I can repeat it because the collet blocks level with the edge of the vice. So if we're happy with this one, we can do the other one exactly the same. Oh man! So here we go then. There is the first cut. One mil. I think three is going to be great actually. Let me just check that I've locked off what I need. 
me to lock off? <coughs> no, I've not. Lock off cross. Lock off cross slide. And take another cut and go back. Thank you, Joe. It's really cold in there, so it always looks more spectacular. <laughs> and the last one, Mel. Now we can switch off, we can drop the bed down 3 mil. One, two, three, and that will put us bang on level with the top of the uh, top of the part once we swap it over. This might be loud because you're right next to the fucking spat oh, knocking you about a bit. Let me just move you. There we go. So now all that we need to do is put it out of the way, clean off the swarf, flip it, put it back in, level, let me just get the burr off that actually, give that a quick wipe. There we go, that's better. So we level with the end, we press down the jacks underneath to support it, stop it boingy boingy in. And this should zero, this should be just touching. it is so same again one mil there's enough oil on there already and I'm just gonna back that off and double check that I'm nice and tight because we've got that squeaky squealy haven't we we don't like that so Jack's not in the optimum position. Just give him a little, little love tap to centre there. There we go. So now, we should be happy up. There we go. Okay, another melt. Bit more cutting oil. Nice and steady. Oops, sorry, bumping you there. And away. Another mill. Close that off. Mind the handle away. We should have one finished part under the swarf. Got splinter now. No surprises there, is there? Let me give that a quick wipe. 
So yeah, I'll just um I'll just get that out of the collar. <clears throat> we proper bump you then. Hello, are you okay? Fucking hell, I don't know what happened there. There we go. So I'll give that a quick deburr and that'll screw on the seat and that'll fix the spring under the seat. We need a bit of length on it for our DAS. That's one half done. We'll repeat that with the other one. Um, and then we'll get on to the bits that weld onto the frame. Okie dokie, so we're on to part two. We're on to the, the metal parts, the metal, fuck me. We're on to the steel bits that weld on the frame, yeah. We've set up a little fly car with a 32mm uh, diameter, which will sit over the frame rail that's there, and we're just going to notch the end of the tube out. What I've done, I've set, I've touched off and set my zero, and I think we need, well, let's have a fucking go at, um, let's take it, a one mil cut. So I've wound it on one mil, back that down, and now I'll just lock off my cross, cross carriage, give her a whirl, a little dab of oily boiler, wind her up, there we go, there's a mil. I'm just hoping this fly cutches out enough to get the bottom before it clouts the fucking collet. Otherwise, I'll have to jig it about a little bit more, won't I? So, it's just coming up on it now. Ooh, that's spot on. Right. So that's a mill. I'll unloosen my X and go another mill. Which is in effect taking a much bigger cut because we're getting into the part right through the center to the bottom we just touch on the collet then my bad and through what i'll do Put some cutting oil actually on the surfaces that are being cut, eh? That'd make a big difference, Ralph. And uh, loosen off my X. Go a final mill, I think three mill will be enough. Yeah, it's just a notch. It's just a welding notch. Here we go. Oh, looking at it, I'm tempted to go another fucking. Way. But I don't think I will. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Actually, gonna go to the last mill. So we've done four mil, we've done a four mil scallop, 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 because I'm known for the correct use of fucking words in English language. Oh. Last cup, nice and steady. It's a welded surface. We're not too worried about the finish, but Obviously, we want to protect the part and the cutter at all times. So we reference and check at every opportunity. Dear boy, that's what my engineer told me yesterday, or day before, whenever it was. Reference and check at every opportunity, Ralphie. There you go. What's that? 
Oh, I want fuck that off out of the way. I'll unloosen the vice. And there you go. There's your scallop part. Obviously, it needs a D burr. It's not too. The burr's not that bad actually, but it needs to fuck off, doesn't it? But you get the idea, you get the, that's the scallop, so we just need to drill the cross hole and that's ready to be welded on. Okay, so <coughs> we're over the uh, pillar drill and we're setting them in the, the vice, it's got a little feed cut out of it, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, so holds that lovely. And what I've done, I've marked a line, I've scribed a line across the top of the vice where I'm going to drill this hole, yeah, and then fire the old gal up. She's nearly flat out at this, but so we can eyeball that line and then aim for the centre, which is easier said than done. I think I've got me centre drilling upside down. I think we're on the uh, on the dual side. Swap that. Around. Let's just turn this round. I always uh, intend to break off, look, snap off the one when it goes dull and leave the good one. And you're halfway through that drill bit, isn't you? Like, once, once that side goes, you're full. Anyway, we'll, we'll try and hit the top of it, which is not always easy. If it runs off, you can rotate it like that. Look. Turn your bike the right way. So we can rotate it back to the top. We can use that to get it squared away. There. So give yourself a good start, nice and gently. And now we're going to drill it out to the dizzy heights of 2.5 millimetres, which is. Uh, hundred thou in our bonnet, so it's a fucking little hole, basically. It's fucking little in our bonnet, in any bonnet. With this fucking, with this set on flat out, there's no resistance to fucking, what? to turn the ch chuck by hand, it just spins. I've got no idea why I took the job out of the fucking bias either. So. All I can say is the cold's getting to me. Not that I want to moan, as I'm sure you've found out. You're aware. Anyway, right. Go down the fucking lid. Make sure we're running through. Nice and steady does the job. Sorted. Get them a D bear with the D bear up in the hand mill. Look, there you go, it's ready to weld on. Do you know, I've gone to fit it up on the bike, and it's fucking, I, can't, I couldn't fucking do it. They're too tall, this fucking is just too tall, you know, uh, let's do it that way. So uh, I've shortened them by a fucking inch, which, well, 20 mil between them, so three quarters of an inch. And it might not seem much on the, this grand scale of a, a motorbike, but that makes a lot of fucking difference to me. Um, leg room wise, that makes fuck all difference. We're going up and down, not backwards and forwards, so don't worry about that. So yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to have to fucking do them a bit shorter like this because they just look better, it just fucking looks better they're still longer than mine on me uh, trumpet they're still longer than me triumph ones look and they're fat and bulky as well because it's a different style bike you know it's going on to thicker frame tube etc we've fitted up, we've bolted under and we've clipped on the bottom and we've centralised on the frame because the, the sprung 
you'll see we've got sprag in, hold in sprag, hold in the front of the seat to it. We're going to force that down to get it on there, and it's all good. But we're going to play the springs a little bit. We could do it more of an angle on the springs, and that's not how they come, so it's not what we've fucking got, is it? Either way, we're going to tap on. We've marked the same inch end, and we're going to get a tack on this one. And then we're going to go around the other side and we're going to make sure that it lines up with the other one, with this one line, and get a tack on this one. And then take the wood out, down at the front. Come on, happy days. So fucking cold. <laughs> Bitterly cold. That's kind of affecting <coughs> what we're doing. So anyway, just get this one squared up uh, there. And just pulled out a little bit. There, right. Get a tack on. One sprung saddle. I'm not I'm only on wood, I don't want to go mad. And it straightening up a little bit, tightening up, and then we fucking go. Happy days. Just pull out a bit for you. Yeah. The rear guard's not in situ, it's just propped on wood again. We're waiting for a fitment on that from uh, Daz's herd that must be obeyed. So yeah, we're cracking on. It just leaves me to thank you for watching. Um, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Follow along on the series. You can see me mount the, the petrol tanks probably next. And then I've got to make some forward control mounts. Fuck me. That's going to be uh, a bit of a mind stretcher. So yeah, give us a like, give us a sub. Follow along, and we'll uh, have a great one. Lots of love, everyone. See you.